Hi guys, putting here with the game for you on my tier 8 German battleship, the Bismarck. Now, we are on the map trap. I am running a full secondary build. I point out that there's really only three ships here at sea. The New Mexico, the Atlanta, and myself. Now, <clears throat> not going to blame the Atlanta for getting out of here because there's not a lot of islands really for him to hide behind and to be uh, effective. But I don't want to just leave C uncontested because usually this side does B and C and then the other side I feel usually will do A and B but you might get one or two guys that go to C just like on this side, you might get one or two that go to A. So I don't want to just leave C completely alone. Figuring that there might be only just a couple of ships. And then if I run into most of their fleet, I'll at least be able to delay them for all the guys to get in the B and get in position. <clears throat> now, in the replays, you don't see me selecting ships for my secondaries to shoot but I am running a full secondary build so when my secondaries do shoot I did manually select them it's the only way my secondaries will fire is when I manually select a ship sorry about that guys now I am trying to use this uh, island in front of me it has a little bit of cover because you know getting a little bit uh, close with this ship and then popping out for them not to have very much reaction it's always great when you can surprise somebody in a battleship the other thing is I'm trying to see how the enemy team is being deployed what it looks like their ships are doing where they are going to really make my decision if I'm going to stay at sea or if I'm going to cut in and go to B. Now with the Bismarck spotted, definitely going to uh, kind of stay here, help out the uh, New Mexico, and we did get a Mayoka that did come up to support us. Now I'm not sure what the Atlanta's going to do. I'm not too worried, but it looks like he's going to position to help on C also. Get the secondaries going on the Bismarck because this gentleman needs to go, but I'm not going to rush these two guys. It would be suicidal this early in the game. The uh, Ganais has uh, torpedoes. I don't want to deal with that. But I'm just going to, you know, shoot whichever one of these two is going to show me the most side and just uh, keep my secondaries going on the Bismarck. I want to get rid of that guy as fast as possible uh, because I'm more, uh, I was more or less afraid of his secondaries, but they're not even shooting at me. This guy's shooting AG for whatever reason. But I figured, you know, the sooner I can get rid of him, the better. And then the Leander pops up, and I'm like, well, you always hear me say battleships should shoot cruisers. You know, I, I really do firmly believe in that. You know, if a cruiser spotted, especially at this range. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Especially at this range, I'm being a British cruiser, cruiser showing me side. Might as well take the shot in on him. Now, I have to cut my speed, and really show this Bismarck some side I have to turn because I don't want to run aground but I do have my secondaries still trained on the Bismarck who shows no signs of giving any care in the world about me sorry guys and as you can see this guy is burning you know I'm shooting at him I'm sure the Atlanta is. I'm sure the Mayoka is. I have, what, already over 100 secondary hits on this gentleman. You know, this guy doesn't have long for the life. 
going to take the shot, hopefully finish him off before he gets behind the island. And that is my first ship sink, and the first ship sink in the game for the first blood. Only 114 secondary hits. <clears throat> and, I don't know, maybe three or four salvos for my primaries. Gonna take a shot at the shores, because, well, I really just don't want to deal with a fire-breathing Russian ship. This guy, you know, he does a nice job evading my first couple salvos that I do put on him. But as you can see, I got the secondaries going on the other battleship. Like I said, I don't want to close range to him because I do know he has six kilometer torps. But this guy is showing me an awful lot of his side. So I might as well take a crack in at him so I can turn back in to deal with these two cruisers and potentially cap C. Now I see our other, uh, our friendly Bismarck is making his way up here. Gonna try to take another shot in at the shores because he is sitting broadside. But 15 kilometers for this is, you know, it, it is a little bit long, but this guy did do a nice job just doing a little turn out and turn back in so all of my shells just fall harmlessly into the water. <coughs> now I noticed an Eisenhower starting and showing me uh, some of his sights. So I might as well take a shot into him, but I only do a thousand damage. But like I said, I've just kept my secondaries in play, kept my secondaries in on him. As you can see, you know, I'm going to quickly break a hundred secondary hits just on this gentleman alone. Our friendly Bismarck takes a shot in on him. I take a shot in him to 3,000, knock out a front gun. So that thing is probably out because I know I've set a fire to him and he's burning, which means this guy's down to two guns. And for the most part, he's lost half of his firepower uh, because he is just staying bow in. Now I hear the friendly Bismarck take a shot and I wanted to see if he'd finish him off. Uh, instead of me having to shoot and finish him off. <clears throat> As I get the final shots in on him and the kills, and I believe it was 114 or 141 secondaries later, I'm not 100% sure. But, it's decision time. Do I turn my guns to take care of North Carolina, which is right now is at uh, long range <coughs> sorry guys or keep my guns to the side to deal with these two cruisers as you can see I'm kind of keeping my guns to the side I'm going bow into the North Carolina I want to meet this guy uh, bow on I do believe I've already selected him for my secondaries or this is where I'm selecting him for my secondaries I am noticing that he is a little bit broadside. These cruisers really weren't spotted. So I figured what I would do is shoot with the front and him, turn the ship a little bit to the side and get the, uh, the rear guns going on the cruisers. I'm gonna take another shot at this Shores who is uh, turning in. So. I, I don't believe these shells are going to do much damage. But at this point, just got to deal with the North Carolina in front of me. He's really not paying attention to me, or he doesn't know I'm there. I don't know why. But I'm turning my ship to get all of my guns uh, to bear on this guy and to get uh, more secondaries into play. This guy's still not looking at me. You know, for whatever reason. So, you know, I know I feel I can turn and show this guy, you know, my full broadside. He's not even paying attention to me. As I do 9,000 damage, don't get a Citadel. This gentleman was broadside, but he is turning away from me. 
Now at this point, there's no way he cannot know I'm here. So I'm just gonna turn in, stay angled, so his shells really can't do very much damage to me. Actually aiming up into the superstructure a little bit because he is angled. And if I was shooting into the uh, hall, they really would just bounce harmlessly off. <clears throat> but I still want to stay angled to this guy. Don't want to give him anything, uh, any of my side that I don't have to. As my secondary uh, fires get this guy, and this is the fatal mistake this Shores makes. He ran aground, he's broadside, two citadels, it's eight kilometers from me. Plenty of time for my secondaries to do some work. This guy's not getting out of here alive. Now this guy ends up really pissing me off. Uh, I really don't like it when people, you know, accuse me of using some sort of mod to to beat them. You ran the ground. You're broadside. You're less than 10 kilometers from a Bismarck. <laughs> What, what did you think was going to happen? You know, you're backing up. You know, battleships can't ask for anything better. <clears throat> but, you know, I see the Sharn Horse. I see the Majonia, and I'm like, well, I might as well take a crack at the cruiser. I don't want to rush the uh, Sharn Horse because he has uh, torpedoes. I want to get rid of the cruiser. Uh, before I deal with the Shrine Horse. As I get high caliber, close quarters, and Kraken unleashed. Now, the other thing was we were losing this game for the most part the entire time. I uh, get my secondaries going on the Shrine Horse, but in my typing uh, to this guy telling him I don't use mods. I had failed to notice that the USTD was to my side until it's too late. I was turning to go in. Now I'm turning to go out. It's too late. I'm going to die to these. I get my secondaries onto him. As this torpedo hit, secondaries are still in the air. It's close quarters, number two along with just a flesh one, which leaves just one ship left alive. Now, of course, we're, we're going to pull this one out, but uh, I just want to take this, this little bit of time to say uh, uh, the reason I don't type too much in game is because I am a slow typer, uh, typer and things like this usually happen when I type. Uh, I, I I don't pay attention to what's going on, and it gets me killed. Uh, I know a few of you have actually said hello to me in game, uh, so please just don't feel bad if I don't respond right away or I'm a little slow to respond. Uh, sometimes I'm not 100% paying attention to chat, and you know I do type slow. But with that, guys, we are going to take a look at the post battle results. 152,000 damage, two close quarters, first blood, Kraken unleashed, high caliber, and just a flesh wound. And with the six ships I sent to the bottom of the sea, second place with 1,900 base experience. Well done to the Fujin who got first, made some money, but we're not here for the money. 84,000 damage coming from main batteries. 41,000 from the secondaries and 26 from the fires the secondaries did cause. Hope you guys enjoyed the replay. We do enjoy the replays you guys do send in, so please keep sending them in. Email is in the description. And remember, guys, please compliment good teamwork and good uh, team players. We are quick to report, slow to compliment. And with that, guys, just want to say I hope you guys all have a fantastic and great day. Please hit that like and subscribe button.